Life in a world that keeps changing Think that it's progress you're making Copy and paste pretty faces All the time Hello everyone, welcome to Anointed Lady TV The home of news and politics If it is your first time in this channel You are highly welcome Thank you so much for stopping by And if you like what we do on this channel Hit on the subscribe button Also put on the notification bell so you'll be notified by YouTube anytime we drop a new video. And if you are returning subscribers, thank you very much for always coming back to watch our videos. On this platform, we drop videos every day and we react to every video that come our way. And on this very video, I will be watching with you. And after watching, let's go to the comment section and drop our opinion constructively like our videos and also share our videos if possible see you next time all is watching our nation is watching leaders are watching we feel pain and we challenge the media to report appropriately what's going on in our country because history right here history is happening before us may we not cower may we rise up and be the voice of reasoning at this particular juncture in Nigeria's history. Fellow Nigerians, it is with great sadness that we present this press statement today. The events of the past few days marked by the veiled desperation by those whose contribution to our country is a steady output of violence, distortions of national ethos, ineptitude and dissolution <coughs> governance, to say the least, are beyond disgraceful. We are witnesses to the naked dance of the brass of impunity on national scale with the desperation to gag opposing voices and voice a predetermined narrative on the international community rise to despotic levels. It merits saying in the light of this event that our country is not a military state and must not be allowed to run on the dictatorial pace of a junta. The modest search through history and you will find that cultures and societies that endorse criminality and idolize criminals soon perish in the fires of extinction. We cannot let our country die however broken, scared and traumatized we may be. For Nigeria is our mother we owe her care and protection and not abandon her to incestuous rape by corrupt politicians through our collective silence. Suffice to say that whatever goal silence has amassed since February 25th, 2023 has lost its ethical value. Any attempt to further explore it will amount to dealings in blood as the cost is the lives, faith and hope of poor Nigerians who are represented here today on this table. In the last 21 days, we have made consistent call for the cancellation of the presidential election, risking our lives amidst threats of attack by political thugs and violent merchants, some of whom have camped at the Unity Fountain. We have made presentations to the government of the United States, Britain, and country representation of the United Nations, European Union, and ECOWAS. We have also held press conference to clarify our position on the declaration of an interim government when the ill-planned attempt by spying doctors to frame it as a call for military takeover began to build up heat in the polity. We have also held national prayers for the nation. But above all, we have maintained a non-violent stance in our bid to seek redress for our demand. Our demands remain the following. Sack, arrest, prosecute Professor Mahmoud Yakubu. Yes. Cancellation of the presidential election of 25 February 2023. Yes. Compensate all victims of electoral violence. Yes. The establishment of Truth and Reconciliation Committee in Lagos, another flashpoint of violence. Yes. Our resolve is built on truth, faith, hope, and on the risky, if not suicidal, conviction that illegality will always bet illegality. 
hardly can any Nigerian alive deny the outcome of the presidential election did not represent the will of the Nigerian people or amount to an abuse of suffrage. We all know the truth, but why are we not saying anything about it? What most Nigerians do not understand is that the people representing this evil against our country are deliberate and desperate. Their path is laid before them and power is their ultimate livelihood. It does not matter how many people are killed or how badly they, they pollute our ideological space with religious and tribal sentiments. As long as they get to power, they are fulfilled. Even now, they have made permutations for 2027 because in their mind, they own the country and Nigerians have nothing. Nigerians must see in this last election and even at this moment an opportunity that is fast burning out. We cannot deny that the enthusiasm and dedication of Nigerians to participate in the 2023 general election and the political tsunami that followed, such as the sack of incumbent governors and parliamentarians, was a threat to the life of the old political order. In order to sustain their hold on power, they unleashed their age-long tactics of religious and ethnic sentiments. In some places, we turned on each other. In other places, they unleashed their war dogs on hapless Nigerians who fled pulling units, abandoning the elections. But though one of us may lose, all of us cannot. We are as strong as our numbers and the courage with which we stand in the face of impunity. Yes. The Nigerian youth represent the most abused demography in the unlawful conduct of Professor Mahmoud Yakubu. He toyed with your trust, your faith, and your resilience on the credibility of the electoral process. He made you a ray of hope at the end of a dark tunnel, though he knew he was going to plug it as soon as elections were over. He was a league and in league doing the bidding of his masters. But the corrupt, of the corrupt and evil old political order, they know that you will be angry. They know you will be traumatized. Yes, they know you will be uninterested, afraid. But above all, they know you will do nothing after the election results were obtained and their desired winner announced, they did it to kill your spirit and believe in the possibility of a free and fair election because they know that if it ever become a reality, their grip on power and glutonous plunder of our commonwealth will perish. Maybe they have succeeded because the apathy that greeted the conduct of the gubernatorial elections were loud and deep. You did not come out, nor due to the fear alone, but because fear had bled faith and hope from your heart. Sitting here today, we are certain, but that hope can bred courage if you let it. We were once like you, trapped and broken, lost in the inertia of political voodoo pierced by the cruel spear of intimidation and reverse psychology where lies are washed by truth by the evil of all political order but we dare to raise our heads at the pain of losing our lives to take the stand for Nigeria we implore you to do the same to leave the pages of social media and join us on the street to demand for justice yes. Yes. For equity and fairness. Yes. And while we hope that the judiciary will do what is appropriate for our country in terms of our laws, we cannot sit and wait for Uhuru to happen. No. We must rise up to make demands.
Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Good day, my brothers and sisters, my mommies and my daddies over there. Is your sister again, your doctor, your friend, your girl, admitted Lady TV? Please, if today is your first time of coming across my YouTube channel, please do subscribe for me. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So each time I upload any video, you will be notified. So in this my channel, I will be bringing up many things to you in which you will benefit from it. I do talk show, I do news, anything you want to talk about, I am into it. Please subscribe, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So each time I upload any video or each time I'm on live on YouTube, you will be notified. Thank you very much for always being there for me. Please do subscribe for me and as you do so, God will richly bless you and meet your heart desire. Thank you very much. I love you all.